Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties, and today I'm going to show you how to use the contour tool in Cricut Design Space. So contour is used to edit an image that isn't really editable to begin with. So you can see I have this sunflower here. It is one layer. There's nothing else I can do with this. I cannot change the color of the blades to be different. I can't change the middle. I can't delete anything or add anything like this. This is this, and there's nothing I can do unless I use the contour tool. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is give this whole flower a background. So I'm gonna click contour, and you see all of these different little pieces of the design are over here. This is everything all welded in together into one. So if I click hide all contours, it will hide everything but the largest layer. That is always, always, always going to be a base layer. Close out of it and you see it's all black now. So I'm going to leave this black and then we're going to start working on the inner layers. I need to duplicate this though. So we're going to come up here, we're going to double click right here and name this base layer. Okay. Now this we're going to name outline. I'm going to double click and I'm going to make it an outline. You'll see what I do. So I'm going to select this, I'm going to contour. And before we had hidden all the contours, now I'm going to show all contours. Everything is back in. Click it. Here we go. Let's turn this um, like a yellow. Okay. We'll put that there. Okay, now let's make each blade a different color. So let's duplicate our outline here. We're going to right click and duplicate. And let's start with um, some pink. So let's call this layer pink. Okay. Click it, click contour, and you want to get rid of everything that you don't want to be pink. So I want this to be pink. I don't want this, don't want this. I want that to be pink. No, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, no. So I have clicked out everything I do not want to be pink. Actually, I did want that one to be pink. And I have left in everything I do want to be pink. Now I know that is a little hard to see, but if it is left in your design, first of all, it will be highlighted over here in gray. And second of all, it'll be a darker gray over here if it is left in. So you can see this is a little bit of a darker gray. This is a little bit of a darker gray. I want to get rid of that. Forgot about the middle. Okay, so everything that's left will be pink. I click my X. Forgot to get rid of the background. Also click out your big background layer. There we go. Now all of these blades can be pink. I can come over here. I can turn them pink. And I'll just pop them into place. Okay. Let's duplicate this again. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the outline. Get me another one. Let's make these green. Okay, so we will select it, contour, I won't forget the outline this time, click out that first one, and then let's see what can be green. Okay, so this one was pink, I know I want that gone. This one can be green, and then I'll click out that one, this one can be green, click out, click out, that one can be green, click out, click out click out that one can be green okay let's take a look at that and see how that's going to be that's probably a little too much green let's put it over here and see what else we need to get rid of okay we need to get rid of these two so let's do that Okay, and let's see, what other color do we want to add in here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six more leaves. Let's make them like a blue color. So we're going to click our outline again. 
we're going to duplicate it. Okay, we will come into the contour. I'm going to reduce my screen size just a little bit so that my contour box doesn't cover up my flower and I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so contour. Get rid of that big one. Okay, I don't need that. I don't need that, 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 that. I might need that one. That or that. Let's see how that does me. Okay, there we go. Let's turn these blue. Okay, so now let me kind of group all this together and move it over here. We have all these different colors on our sunflower and our outline or our base layer is black. Let's change this base layer to um, a brown. And let's create a little bit of an offset for it. Not that much, I mean just a little bit. So let's say 0.05. Okay, apply. We want the offset to be the same color brown. We can delete that first one. Okay, so now I've got my yellow outline on my brown offset layer, which is going to be my base layer now. Let's rename that base. Pink, green, and let's name this one blue. Okay, so here's all of our layers. Let's just start putting them in here. Okay, it's turning out to be really nice, but remember on this outline part, whoop, come here outline. We said we wanted to get rid of some of these lines. Let's see if we can get rid of those. Click contour and see if it will let us get the little individual lines. It doesn't look like we can. Okay, we can't come down that far on this one. And the reason is because each of these lines is connected to a larger part. They aren't separate from everything else. They aren't kind of on their own. So we can't get rid of those. We'll put this back in. Line up our blue. Okay, so I just took that single layer outlined flower and created five different layers in five different colors to make this more detailed, intricate design. That is what you will use contour for. You can also use it to delete parts of a design that you don't want. So let's say, let's say I have this ice cream cone here. But I don't want any of these sprinkles to be on the ice cream cone. Well, again, this is just one layer. There's nothing I can do. I can't come in here and click these and edit them out. They won't go away. But if I come to my contour tool, I can scroll over here and locate all of these little sprinkles. Click them all. And they are all gone. Using my contour tool again, I can color each different part of this ice cream a different color. Let's do that. So we want to duplicate, contour. We want to delete the background, and I'm just going to work on this layer here right now, so I'm going to delete literally everything else. Okay, let's make this brown. Okay, we've got a chocolate layer. Okay, let's duplicate this. And now we're gonna work on this layer here. So we're gonna delete everything but the second layer. So contour. I'm gonna hit hide all contours because that's a lot to do. I'm gonna put my second layer back in. I'm gonna click it click out the base. So the only thing I have in this whole design now is the second layer. 
and let's make it like a strawberry. And now let's get the cone. So again, we'll duplicate our original design. We're going to delete everything but the cone now. So use our contour, hide all contours. We can turn this like a light brown. Let's see here. We'll go to this brown and then we will edit it. Make it more of a cone type color. Let's see, maybe there. Put this on the very bottom, so arrange and send it back. There we have our ice cream cone. This was what we started with. This is what we ended up with after we deleted. Let me get all those sprinkles back in, actually, so you can see what we really started with. Okay, so this is what we started with, and this is what we ended with by using the contour tool on a design that didn't have any editing options on it. Okay, so that is how we use contour in Cricut Design Space.